Okay, so this is part two of how many Sesame Street videos got released on both VHS and DVD. So we're going to start out with Big Bird in China. Okay. Here's the original VHS copy from 1987. Here's the 2004 VHS reprint. I find it weird that they reprinted it in 2004 rather than 1996. And going over to Big Bird in China DVD. Turns out to be released on DVD the same year it got reprinted on VHS, which I find peculiar. No Genius Entertainment reprint. Moving on to Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. Okay. Where is a good picture of the original copy? Well, I guess this was the closest I could get. Here's, oh, that's not the original. Whoops, hold on, bear with me. Let's just uh, get to the 1996 VHS reprint. Can't find a good photo for it. Okay, yeah, here's the 1996 Sony Wonder VHS reprint. Now, look for Christmas Eve on Sesame Street on DVD. It was released on DVD in the year, I think 2002, was it? Yes, it was 2002, same year Elmo's World Happy Holidays came out. What a coincidence. And here's the Genius Entertainment slash Warner Brothers DVD re-release. And up next, we're going back to the My Sesame Street Home video series, starting with Count It Higher. Actually, it's one of the last My Sesame Street Home video in the series that we're going to be covering. So what we'll count it higher VHS. Here's the original 1988 random house print VHS with Big Bird on the cover. Strangely, it got re-released to Sony Wonder in 1999 rather than 1996. That's weird. And did I forget the cover without Big Bird? Yes, I did forget it. And here it is. Now, look at the Count It Higher DVD. Here's the Sony Wonder DVD release from 2005. Most Sesame Street videos from My Sesame Street Home Video got released on DVD in either 2004 or 2005 for some weird reason. The only one not to is, oh, we'll get to it later. But here's the GS Entertainment slash Warner Brothers reprint of Counted Higher with only the count and earning on it. Next up, we're moving on to the Sesame Song series, starting with Monster Hits. Here's the original 1990 Random House VHS release of Monster Hits. Here's 
here's the 1996 Sony Wonder reprint VHS of Monster Hits. The difference between the two is that Elmo, he's on top of Harry for the original print, while Elmo is between Cookie Monster and Harry for the VHS reprint. Let's look up Monster Hits DVD. Here's the Sony Wonder DVD print from 2003. And here's the Genius Entertainment slash Warner Brothers DVD reprint. Next up is Sing Yourself Silly. Oh, by the way, Sing Yourself Silly, Dance Along, and We All Sing Together are my favorite videos from the Sesame Song series. Okay, here's the original 1990 Random House VHS print of Sing Yourself Silly. Where's a decent image of the 1996 reprint? Okay, here's a good looking one. Yeah, so there's the 1996 Sony Wonder VHS reprint of Sing Yourself Silly. But get this, for some odd reason, the 1983 Children's Television Workshop logo was not shown on the 1996 Sony Wonder VHS reprint of Sing Yourself Silly. How weird is that? And now moving on to Sing Yourself Silly DVD. And I have Sing Yourself Silly on DVD, albeit the 2008 Genius Entertainment slash Warner Brothers DVD reprint. But first, let's show off the 2005 Sony Wonder DVD release. And we're finally at my copy of the Sing Yourself Silly DVD from Genius Entertainment slash Warner Brothers from 2008. And look at here, we got a double feature with Sing Yourself Silly and Elmo's Musical Adventure, the story of Peter and the Wolf. And we've just covered that it was in a DVD three pack learning triple feature I'm sorry, singing triple feature with Elmo's sing-along guessing game and play-along games and songs, which coincidentally Forgetful Jones was in both Sing Yourself Silly and play-along games and songs. But not to mention the Sesame Street Sings DVD collection along with Sesame Sings Karaoke and Sing Hoot and Howl, which we will get to later. Next up is Rock and Roll. Okay, here's the original 1990 Random House VHS release of Rock and Roll. Where is a decent photo of the 1996 reprint? That was like the copy I used to have as a kid, but no longer do. So there's the 1996 Sony Wonder reprint of Rock and Roll that I used to have. And I used to have the original 1990 VHS release of Sing Yourself Silly as a kid but now I got it on DVD. And that image of the 1996 reprint I showed you did not have a sticker label, but was rather written in ink on the black tape. 
some Sesame Street VHS have that situation. Now we can rock and roll DVD. There's the 2003 DVD released by Sony Wonder. Wait a second. Why is Elmo mentioned for the little sticker tag, even though he only appeared in the song, the word is no, and didn't have any lines, but just said, stand up and shout it, no, 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 with a chorus of characters. That's an error. And there's the Genius Entertainment slash Warner Brothers DVD re-release. Oh, and there's the song lyric, song lyric sheet for rock and roll. And going back to Sing Yourself Silly, here's the song lyric sheet for Sing Yourself Silly. That was a thing for all the Sesame songs, VHS releases. Okay, next up is Dance Along. This is the original 1990 VHS release from Random House of Dance Along. I know there was a 1996 VHS reprint of Dance Along. I'm trying to find it. Where could it be? Where could it be? Let me see if... Uh... Nineteen ninety-six reprint. I'm not looking for the nineteen ninety-six reprint of Sing Along. I'm looking for the nineteen ninety-six reprint of Dance Along. It's really irrelevant. So the nineteen ninety-six reprint of Dance Along must be rare. And I think it was one of the only Sesame Songs videos to have the video and audio promo from 1996 for the opening, the others being Rock and Roll and We All Sing Together. So I know Dance Along was reprinted by Sony Warner in 1996, but it's not showing up here for some reason. So we'll be going to the DVD. Okay, here's the 2003 DVD released by Sony Wonder. And there's no Genius Entertainment slash Warner Brothers DVD re-release for Dance Along. Yeah, Dance Along, I believe, is the only Sesame Songs video to have a Sony Wonder DVD release yet no Genius Entertainment or Warner Brothers DVD release. I wonder why that is. And I used to have the Random House VHS print of Dance Along, and I seem to recall coming upon a 1996 reprint VHS of Dance Along at a half-price books. It must be a rare copy.